Hi everybody, my name is Karen May and I write for More Than Borderline and today I'm going to talk about how to stop code switching when it feels kind of like your default setting and that you can't really stop people pleasing or changing up your persona to fit in with the people around you. Code switching is a very good superpower for things like interviews or getting to know somebody for the first time but when it comes to wanting that deeper connection, maybe you're getting into a relationship and you want to be loved for who you are rather than this made up persona that you think they will accept you for. Um, something that I've learned to do is come up with five different uh, values that I can uphold throughout my days and values are different from goals. Goals are more things that you do but values are like your north star and I use these values to determine who I am as a person, what my core personality is like and it just helps me make decisions that are more in line with somebody that I'm proud of. So um, a while back, I determined that, you know, humor is a good value for me, compassion, self-care, justice. So throughout my days, I just um, know what to say because I keep in mind like, oh, yeah, I am somebody that cares about justice and I don't like injustice. So when topics come up, I will stick up for what I believe in, not because I'm trying to impress anybody or because I'm trying to emulate some other persona it's because that is who I am at my core and that is one way I've learned to stay true to myself and show more of my authentic self another way is it's not fun but it's spending time with myself when I'm lonely um, I don't like being alone Sometimes I prefer to talk to a best friend or a favorite person instead of battling my demons. But it's very important to kind of discipline yourself to um, just just see what's going on in your head and your mind. Like, why are you, what are you afraid of? Why are you afraid of being so alone? And then after these moments of loneliness, I've learned to enjoy them, see them as spending quality time with myself so that I know who I am that I it helps me figure out like why are these my values and what are some things I can do to really enjoy being alive and being with myself so that my days aren't determined by the people around me so that is my advice and I hope to see you guys in my next video um, check out my articles at healthyplace.com more than borderline and my name is Karen May okay bye